we're changing things to the backward escape today. So um, I went over the general escapes uh, from just the kind of the standard mount position of, uh, uh, at the beginning of everything. So what you're doing here, here, and like you can see tactical mount. So I want to spend the next bit of time going over. If he starts getting into something that's often referred to as a deep mount, so when he's not just like standing here like this, so for example, working on tactical mount escapes today, tactical mount, yeah, so like this, and we're talking about if he starts getting things deep, which means he starts separating arms. So like, let's start with, now you're going to first get this one, yeah, okay? First of all, tactical mount, um, go back actually a second. So like the standard mount, the standard mount, I want to have an arm frame on his hips, and I want to keep my elbow outside of his hip line. Okay, and this is going to prevent him from being able to get grabbed. So if we're in tactical mount, if he gets into a tactical mount situation, tactical mount, like that. Yeah, this is going to be hard for me now because his body's in the way. I'm not going to be able to really, if I try. This this is really hard for me to get, and uh, if he's in tactical mount, he has normally already beaten that first frame. Yeah, you don't even need to lean in, just just like keep everything nice and tight. Yeah. So I'm in danger now. This is a dangerous position for me, and also, uh, yeah, yeah. Turn, 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 turn. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And also, um, this is dangerous for me because I don't have access to this armpit now to force him to post. So this is another problem I have, because normally if we were in the normal mount and he separates an arm, I could come here, force him to post, and free my arm. If we're in tactical mount, I don't have that option anymore because his arm is hidden, okay? So this is what's going to make things a bit more difficult for me. So we're going to start, and again, I've said it before, I've said it again, I'm going to say it till the day I die, this is the hill I'm going to die on. Never try to free this hand with this hand. So never ever do this, because all he does is say thank you, you have just given me the gift wrap, and I have given him a much better position than he originally had. So I know that your thoughts are going to be screaming, do something to this arm, never go to this arm, ever with your other arm, okay? That is always going to be an improvement for him in his position, okay? So, but what we can do is we can go up here to this armpit, okay? So because now if he tries to grab the arm, he can't. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The best thing he can do is, is remove the post, and now I and now I have that arm free. And if he tries to go in front of my face with the other arm, with this arm in front of my face, now I can go back to my normal and, and uh, escape the tactical mount. Okay? So this one is going to be much safer for us than if we try to go here, because he can't really directly grab the arm and make my position worse without giving me a better position and escaping tactical mount. I'm still in mount, but I have an ex but I have gotten out of the worst worst mount than the standard mount. Okay? So and let's say that he doesn't do that and I still need to free this arm. So again, just like before, my object is to make him post. And I don't want to post, I don't want to frame and post in this direction because there's a high likelihood that my arm is going to slip, and then he says, Oh thank you, you've given me the back. Yeah. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to keep this pressure with my forearm on his body and my direction is more over my head. So like this, okay? And here's where I can bring the arms in and back to our escape, okay? Uh, quoting Nicky Ryan from the, from the rest of the camp, I'm doing things slow so you can see the details. But um, when we're doing live, things go a bit more quickly. So, um, but just tactical mount. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, I can keep my arm on your hip and I don't have to worry about this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going again. You're shoving over your head and bridging to make that pose come out. So from here, I rotate my hand inside and shoot both hands in. And it's take the back forward, and I can start back takes, leg entanglements, all sorts of fun stuff in here. Okay? Kind of showing that in a bit more of a live speed now. Okay? So we're here. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Next. And a very, very 
deep uh, tactical mount. Um, and uh, normally when I'm in this, yeah, I was about to say, normally in this position, I like to go both gift wrap and hand control. This is really bad for me, okay? So first of all, before anyone says it's hard to get, uh, comments that it's hard to get out, yeah, that's why people look for this position. This is very hard to get out of. Um, especially if he's actively pulling back with his hand. This is, yeah, 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 yeah. This is, this is, this sucks, okay? You're not fucked if you're, if you're in this position, but you're in a very bad position, okay? This is one of the best positions the guy on top can be in, okay? Because now the only thing I have are my feet, okay? I can't really use my arms to make him post. I only have my feet. The good thing here for me is that both arms are connected to something, okay? So in order, he has one of two options. He's either going to have to give up top position, which most people are not going to do, because if he has this kind of a control position, he's not in a very good position on bottom, but on top, this is wonderful because the floor is keeping me from moving. Um, but if, uh, if he wants to keep top position, he's going to have to post with a hand. It will normally be with this hand, because this is the better control for him. He's going to try and keep the gift wrap as much as he can. So this is kind of how we're going to build our escape out of this position. Again, we're going to get our feet to the ground because that's our explosive motion. And I'm going to work in two directions, essentially. So I'm first going to kind of push here. No, 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 keep, keep your, I'm not, I'm not, that's not enough. He can, he can resist this, but that's just it. He's going to resist and that's going to give me impulse. Yeah, exactly. And then when I feel that impulse coming, that's when I kick him in the other direction. Again, you're normally going to keep the gift wrap hand, but he's normally going to post with this hand. So I come first in this direction and kick him in this direction. And from here, this is where I can start going back to my armpit plant. And again, I bridge again, and I want to get my gift wrap hand over my head. Okay? And from here, this is where we can start going into the back door. Okay? You can also elbow escape from that position. You can kip in the escape from that position as well. I just didn't want us to do 50 different escapes today. I wanted to chain everything to the back door. There are other escapes that are just as easily done from that position. I just really want to work on The main thing is that you've got to get rid of this wrist, double wrist control. So. And the main thing, I have to make sure I give him a nice strong impulse in this direction. And that's going to help me if I first push him in this direction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're not going to get rid of both hands. Come on, be realistic. Try to actually hold on, okay? Mm -hmm. So, if I come here. Yeah, exactly. He's, if he doesn't do it without getting rid of the post, if we do this, doesn't get rid of the post, I can just come up like that. So, not this similar to when we did the four point escape from the back. Okay? So, and once that hand is free, once I get this hand free, that's where I can start coming back into here. And again, we can also elbow escape, you know, kipping escape. I just wanted to chain things to the back door, but you can do other escapes from there. Honestly, I would most likely go to my elbow escape from here just because it's my go-to anyway. So, but the main thing is this first, I'm gonna do this without you. No, no, without you. So first, what we're doing is we're bringing and pushing, especially with our elbow in this direction, and then doing a nice, and it's in the hips. You're not trying to push them with the arm, you're trying to push them with the hips into this direction that's gonna make him close. The minute you get this hand free, that's where you go back here, over your head. Okay? So once you've shook, shaken, your, uh, shaken your control free, that's where you start with your escapes. Again, the first couple of times you do this are going to feel horrible because this is a bad position you are in. That's the whole point. You're in a nice, deep, difficult position to get out of. Okay? So let's work on that. And then maybe one more. One more, this is not going to be from the practical mount, but it's from an equally, this is the worst one, honestly, in terms of positions. So your opponent, let's say he's in the mount, he's got an arm separated over his head, and 
and he's in S Mount. And always remember, in, in the infamous words of Craig Jones, when you're in S Mount, put your balls in his mouth. Okay. Yeah. So this is not this is not good. He's going to be able to get me out too easily. Yeah. So really, balls in his mouth. Okay. That this is where you want to be in S Mount. So how's that feel? Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Okay? So always remember if you are the person entering S mount, put your balls in his mouth. That's how you get a nice tight S mount. Okay. Again, it's sad how many things in jujitsu we can explain by putting body parts into someone's mouth. So. Okay? So we are in the S mount. This is also, I think, the worst position you can be in. Okay, because he he can't really choke, but he has so many, yeah, exactly, tap. He can do so many arm bunch from here, and I cannot bridge. I have no power to bridge, he is too high up. Okay, so my only real option is I have got to free my shoulders from this position. His legs are currently over my shoulders, that's what's making this such a powerful position. I don't really have any power to flex out, so... The only real option I have is I like to take my hand behind my head like this, just to buy myself some time. Okay, I have both hands cupped like this, and it's, yeah, and they're behind my head. And I'm pinching my, my head together with my hands, so that when he's trying to get his arm bars, go ahead and try. Have to work for yeah, exactly. This is not going to last forever, but this is going to buy me time. And then I hip up, and I start to shoulder walk. And I didn't say it's a great option, I said the only real one you have. Okay? And once I get my shoulders free, this is where I can start going back to my normal escapes. Okay? Yeah, it's a bad position to be in. I'm not saying, I'm not, this is, the best one, just don't get there. Okay? I'm going to be quite honest, good people, if they get you there, you're kind of fucked. Okay, if people are really good, you're kind of fucked. Okay, you saw when he let loose his legs a little to, to get over that part. Uh, yeah, that's actually, I think also because no, it's, the thing is, is when you're walking up, you're actually kind of rolling his legs over a little bit. It's actually not very pleasant. It's, it's like a minor heel hook. So, if you want to feel like you can check what I mean. <laughs> cool. Okay? Yeah. So, but first of all, the main thing, I keep my arms in here. I do not want to start doing this, because he just says thank you for the arm. Okay. Okay? So, from here, hips up. Okay. See what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? So, you're actually kind of, when you start rolling up, the, the leg that's in the S-mount will start to get rolled over like this, and you're getting kind of a minor sort of heel hook here. You're, you're not going to submit someone with that, but they are going to go, ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, then you get up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it's a, it's not the best position to be in. Again, I'm not saying this is an easy escape as well. Okay? If someone gets you an S-mount, it is hard to get out. Um, if you are the same size and that guy is better, I'm not going to say you're fucked, but you're in, you're in trouble. You are in serious trouble. So doing it without a partner, just so you can see the mechanics of what I'm doing. So again, never push away an S-mount. Never, ever, never have extended arms. S-mount, always hands behind your head, coming in like this, hips up, and shoulder walk to free your shoulders. Once your shoulders are free, you can start framing on the hips, get them back down, start going into your standard hip skates. Okay? Clear what I want to see? Yeah. Okay, let's practice that a bit, and then we'll start doing some free sparring. Or free, free practice. We're going to do a lot of positional sparring today. <laughs>